I will accept my husband and my husband only. Let's see, I think he's going to be here in a second because I've just accepted him. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, are let me just... Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me correctly? Babe, I hear you so clearly. Yeah. Wonderfully, wonderfully, wonderfully. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah? Can you hear me fine? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah? Pretty good. Yeah? Great. So, How are you? I'm good. In Paris. Yes. With the new addition to the family. Oh my God! Show me the puppy. Show me the Lulu. puppy. Lulu. Lulu. Okay, start this out. Yeah, you She's do that. You do that, and I'm gonna start this out. Yeah, start it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Lulu. Get Lulu. Get Wait. Lulu. Let's get a puppy. We're just getting the puppy. Oh. Oh She's my little. god. How small. <gasps> Hello, small bean. She's small oh, bean. Oh my god, small bean. Small bean Lulu. <gasps> All right, small bean Who's Lulu. Lulu? Where, who have you got Lulu? So from? Lulu is uh, my friend's new dog. She's going to be like uh, Ponyo's sister, kind of. So cute. We love, we love Lulu. Yeah, man. God, there's so many people. Hi, everyone. There's loads oh, wow, of people yeah, already. It's not a I face time. I need to remind... <laughs> I, I, okay, that's not the FaceTime, of course. No, no, so, no, no, we're not in a FaceTime. How are and you, And I have, Lauren? like, questions that we have to answer. I have Do questions. You have that... questions with you? Yeah, I have yeah. questions that I've been told we have to answer. Should, uh, should we go for that? Because yeah. I also think there's people that are going to be on this live that are going to want to ask us things. All right. I'm ready. Okay. I, have, I have the answers. Okay. So, thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, yeah, thank you, So everybody. delighted to be hosting this Instagram live. For the second time round since we uh, did our notorious big one during lockdown 2020. Do you yeah, remember we when we did that? Yeah, we did time? that. I completely forgot we did that. We did yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. It was a good one. It, it was went down very well. Yeah, we did like, we cooked or something like that. No? You, yeah, you were cooking pasta and I drank yeah. lots of champagne. Um, yeah. And so that's obviously gone very well. Thank you, everyone. Also, thank you, everyone, for all the love that you've given us for the last two episodes. <laughs> yeah absolutely endearing thank you so so much yeah this means the world to us i mean seriously it's been so overwhelming the amount of attention we got uh from these episodes and means the world thank you so 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 much guys yeah so cool yes it's so cool it was so cool it was, we had to get it was pretty cool each other on the that was great okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna crack on with some questions shall i yeah you should okay okay are people like I, I must have friends putting like terrible comments or shit like that? Yeah, I so should, do I. I, I had the same thing. Yeah, you can see them. You can like scroll. Because I remember last time your best friend was like, oh, like best. trolling. She would put like trolling. Poor, yeah, trolling you as fuck. Well. Yeah, she kept telling me fame suited me. <laughs> That's it. That was it. That was it. All okay. right. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. Get okay. On with the okay. Right, right. Right. So, you ready? Yeah. Okay. So let me just do this away. So we've got. AD underscore C asks, mm -hmm. can you explain what it's like behind the scenes? Do you rehearse a lot beforehand, run through lines in normal clothes or costumes, and you're both fantastic? Yeah, we show up. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. What's your name? Uh, that's AD. Addy? AD? AD underscore C. So that's, AD, what my, that's the handle I've got. That's what I've got. AD, thank you so much. Do we rehearse, Lauren? I mean, actually, this this last season we've rehearsed a lot. I feel you and I yeah. in our own little time. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, we had like in. we had like past the times and past the sessions where we would yeah. rehearse and we would watch The Office and then we'd be like, okay, let's get into it, drink some wine, have a beer, and then we'd like really talk for like never we'd work never, all day and then we'd go home and talk about it. Yeah, never so much on the day because like, no. it's just you apply so much pressure if you just wait till the last moment to discuss um, a scene with your partner. So I feel like, yeah, we got all the time in the world before that. So that was nice. <laughs> yeah, we... Yeah, we would always, we tend to, because also when you're on set, you don't have loads of time to rehearse. You'll get in there in the morning at like 6 a.m. on set, 7 a.m. or something, and 
they kind of have an idea of what they want it to look like and then you've got to just like come up with something so we always yeah. thought it was a good idea to try and have an idea of what we wanted to do first yeah um, yeah you better come prepared and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. even more for the, these kind of scenes we had to do this season um yeah i mean i guess we're gonna have other questions sorry <laughs> yeah no 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 it's fine we have time, no, we have time. Sure. um and do we rehearse in normal clothes or costumes I normally rehearse in normal clothes. Like we, I'm in slippers and a dressing gown. In the robe, that's yeah. what I'll get into makeup in, and then a wig. I'll often be my wig. You'll have your wooden hand a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I'll have my have thumb, wooden hand. I yeah. Guess. So yeah. Because yeah, I, I don't get drunk and depressed the same way if I have it or not. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's actually true. It's, it's actually, so true. I do need my wooden hand before. Uh, yeah. And yeah. I can't feel suppressed and um, grumpy without the bump. So that works too. That works um, too. Yeah. Okay, so next one. NR1610 is the handle. All right. She, she or he says, but I'm going to say it's a she. I'm just going to go out on a limb there. Um, to both Cesar and Lauren, uh, episode 603 was intense and a beautiful episode, very much so. Uh, which moment or scene were you most nervous about? Um, what was it for you? The most nervous. It was, I, I think it was the birth, um, the oh, yeah. Yeah, indu yeah, yeah, yeah. inducing labor scene for me. <laughs> it's just yeah. like, of all the challenging scenes we had to do, it was that one where I, I could really hardly project myself in it, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Or someone that I know, you know what I mean? which was easier for depression and like all the nervous breakdown, societal yeah, thoughts, you know, yeah, it was really. easier to pick things, even from like cultural, um, you know, references. This one scene we had to do, it was, yeah, that was quite challenging, you know? And, uh, Luckily though, like, I don't know if people know, but everything on me was a prosthetic. It's so fake, yeah. That's so, it's all fake. Yeah. So, it's, people do not know that because my dad. No, my but dad, that would be porn. That my dad told porn. me about the scene. We were talking about the scene today, and he was like, "How how do you do your job?" I mean, like, <laughs> I was like it's fake, dad. It's all yeah. like it's plastic. And he was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. really?" I'm like, "Yeah, she's not pregnant for real, you know." And it's just like it could, it could not like really like understand, you know how yeah. like she's not pregnant for real. Imagine, yeah. imagine I'd done that for Outlander, yeah. like committed that hard. I know. Wow. Uh, no, so that I, I would say the same for me. That was quite a hard right, one to head around. And uh -huh. then what else did I find hard? I guess the stuff fighting with you. It wasn't hard. It was just challenging to like do that, but in a great way. Yeah. I think we loved it. it was, I, think we loved I mean, hard. So dark. Hard is not a good word, you know, because like I mean, no. I mean, we want to be doing like these these kind of scenes that require yeah. lots of preparation and and stuff like that. So, oh, kind of, yeah, hardest, like hardest to me was season four, baby. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> same, same, weirdly. I, I don't know why. See? Maybe See the fans I mean? can decode that and understand why. Exactly. Um, so, okay, so, Polami tweets, Polami tweets, uh, for Polami. both, what's a funny BTS moment you can share? Uh, for me, it tends to just be like, oh, no, nah, do you know what was really funny, actually? The genuinely hilarious. When we had to do, um, like, PR stuff, and we had to do press videos, and we had to do our double one, where you started talking about Marcelli listening to acid jazz. We had to do these, like, videos of, like, like, you guys have seen it online. You will have seen the video online. But yeah. it's, um, oh, we were, we're so we're tired like imagining, the end of the imagining what they would listen in, in modern times. Yeah. Was it, was uh -huh. Yeah. And says, like, Jaspi, I reckon... that, was, that was fucking hilarious. Uh, it was so no, funny. I got BTS, it, like, really good BTS idea, from like, Marsley and her acid jazz. That's, that's, um, but what's the I mean, BTS I mean, I just like to bring acid jazz, you know, it would just make me laugh, no, no matter the context. <laughs> yeah. What about... Um, um, it just did. One sec. Um, wait, no. Um, this season, though, it wasn't, it wasn't so much fun on set for us because we were pretty much in character, I feel, you know what I mean? Or at least in the vibe of the scenes we were doing. So, um... But yeah, I saw someone tweeting that they were sure um, Sam slipped when he's running downwards the hill to come and save me. 
that it oh, would have yeah? slipped. But and that's true. It did slip, yeah, which yeah, was yeah. like so hilarious. But it like gracefully, like King of Men, you know what I mean? Like yeah, 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 of course. Slided his way down the hill. Um, yeah. But no, besides that, it was um, pretty serious on set this season, no? Yeah, it was. Um, for good, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think some of the funny ones, I actually remember, there's a story that I've told before where this involves you, and I don't think I've told you that this is always something that's made me laugh. Um, do you remember in season five filming, we were all outside doing this like huge group scene, and mm -hmm. you guys, you, Richard, Sam, Kat, were all in your horses facing me and so often they like leave the babies with me because like they want us to bond and like it's just easier sometimes to just leave everyone with me yeah. <laughs> i don't know why i'm with us with us and you were on your horse and i had robbie who, robbie is our like young son that plays Shama, and uh i had joni the little baby played joni and me and robbie were um decided it'd be a fun song to sing to the baby you're a tiny tiny baby and it's... the baby was like loving it for a bit and then all of a sudden the baby like burst out crying screaming and it was really horrible and the whole like 150 people the whole set was like boom what did she do and you just stood in your house so katrina's filming the whole thing and you just sat in your horse and you went, well, you know, if you were singing a song to me about being tiny, I would probably cry too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if you were all standing around me singing a song about me being tiny, I'd cry too. And I'm yeah, yeah, you yeah. as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. True. Was that like, was hilarious. Oh, you're right. Um, okay. So, what's that? Bonsoir says, I, oh my God, my friends are trolling me. My friends are calling me a wench, Max. <laughs> Okay, um, what else? Okay, so, my, my are your friends, friends trolling you too? Are your friends? No, okay? they're cool. They're, they're literally like sitting next to me. So, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. I'm um, not any time of time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Maggie M. Twenty twenty four. Maggie M. Twenty twenty four is thinking. Of Hi, Maggie M. Twenty twenty four. Yeah, she's thinking for like maybe she's gonna run for twenty twenty four president. Oh, that's it. Oh, all right, that's okay. It. Yeah, Wait, yeah, that's it. Might be behind you. I need to read the program before you know. Yeah. You out of nowhere, <laughs> just like that. You know, just because you like Outlander. <laughs> so she says, "What's the hardest part about filming your scenes this season?" I mean, we could have said that, I suppose. The cold, freezing. <gasps> the cold, yeah. yeah. It's not even a joke. It's not me whinging. I mean, like, the scene we did with Kat, it was, like, minus two degrees or something like that. And these, like, wool costume, you know, at some point. Yeah. When, when they're frozen, they're frozen. There's nothing you can do about it. And I just remember, like, fighting against it so bad and having the DP coming, like, very nicely being like, it's going to look so beautiful, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> did you say this to me one more time? Uh, no, but it, and it does look beautiful from the few images I saw. That's, that was good as well, though, because it wasn't meant to snow in the script. It wasn't meant to snow. And then on that day, no. I remember you were up at like four, five o'clock, and you yeah. had to go and do that scene like newly in the in the snow. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah, snow was tough. Um, and lockdown, I remember it was so strict. You remember, like, we couldn't, like, throw a dinner or stuff like that. It was so prohibited that, um, yeah, this this was fucked. Um, yeah. But in the end, you know, it's nothing now. It's <laughs> so far away. And we only yeah, have, like, nice seats remember. left, you know, with yeah. us. So and all like, the, yeah. the, like, how much everyone's loved it has been really cool. And actually, oh, the misery man. at times, I think, definitely added to the misery we had to them portray oh yeah 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 definitely All i right. think the, i think i think i think the director said that one <laughs> yeah, <some point>. yeah. <laughs> oh look we can people from mexico and chile Hi, guys. hey mexico oh. hola hola, hola chicas yes yeah, si, 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 um okay chica. this is a great name this chica. next person <laughs> Okay, this next person's fantastic. Um, the pitchy stripper. Says, the what? The pitchy the stripper. What? Pitchy, hey, hi, pitchy stripper. Hey, pitchy stripper. Um, they hey, said, pitchy. <laughs> what? Right? Um, <laughs> hi, pitchy stripper. Okay, 
I, I, maybe I've got that wrong, but that's what it looks like. That's what it says. Anyway, okay, so who's the best baby wrangler, me or you? I think me. It's you, I'd say, you know. I'm better with them when they're, like, five. Yeah. Four. You're, like, tall and can take Robbie throwing his entire body on you during scenes. Yeah. And you can just, like, grab him and run. Whereas also, you know, there's something, I feel like I'm far too emotional even to hold a baby, you know? I feel like I'm, <laughs> it's so beautiful. I remember when I gave you a baby, you took one of the babies off of me one time, and you were like, Lauren, 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 this is like the first time I've ever had a baby. Yeah, uh, first of all, like, it's a life, it's a weird thing, you know? Um, I mean, I did, the only time I held a baby was my younger sister, and she was not really a baby by the time, because I remember, like, the... Um, the mom wasn't very happy with me holding the baby when we were, um, you know, at the hospital. So it was like months after. But the babies we're working on, uh, Outlander with, they're like so tiny, young and so beautiful. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're so precious. The weird part yeah. was like when I almost cried holding the fake baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super weird. It was really odd to watch. <laughs> <laughs> It was like disturbing and like a, a really Cesar, it's a fake baby, but it's so beautiful, it's so well made. <laughs> it's so, so scary. The babies, the fake babies are so frightening. It's so well manufactured. <laughs> yeah. At that point, we knew there was something wrong. Um, okay, Jill Millinder. Hey, Jill Hi, Millinder. Jill. Hey, Jill. Good to see you. Good to um, see you, Jill. How do you get in those mindsets for the difficult emotional scenes? And how do you decompress after? I mean, go ahead, Lauren. Uh, <laughs> tell him. Tell him what you did. <laughs> tell him the secrets <laughs> of the craft. <laughs> tell him all the um, sacrifices. Uh, <laughs> I, okay, like, I, what do I do? Well, I mean, like, okay, so for our, I'm, for our, um, big argument for a big fight where I threw the water on you. Spoiler, if anyone's not seen it. <laughs> yeah. Um, that... What was it, by the way? Was it water? Because that's a question that's going to come later on. Was it water? It was, yeah. like, I don't remember it. It was water. Yeah? What do you think it was? Like, coffee? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, a little apple juice or something? <laughs> Why would it be apple juice? I don't know, because it was, it was like, it had a color to it. Not, it was tinted. No, I think it was dark. It was dark. It was tinted water, yeah. Shut up. No, it wasn't. It was just water. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Okay. It was just dark and candlelit and you were like yeah. crying. And how many times did you do like... that take? I don't even remember. I mean, I, I remember doing it, but I don't remember doing it. You know what I mean? Like, Do you not remember we had to do like a load of... We, we weren't allowed to do that many takes when it came to actually throwing the water because you'd have to obviously get wet. Oh, yeah. And that was it. So first one it was... quite a lot of pressure. First one was a good one, right? Yeah, like it was that. actually. It's very yeah. professional. We know what to do. But really? I reckon, like, we spent a lot of time that day, like, listening to music and um, yeah. being really quiet and focusing. They like, weren't really on our phones. And we were and talking we tried to, each other to a not lot. Break, break the dynamic and energy in between the yeah. takes, I think. So we were shouting at each other. That's what we'd be told, like, at, yeah. when we were at this convention uh, uh, lately, where, um, yeah, we were just trying to keep the energy up that way, um, even if it was a bit cringe for the set. I remember I had this thing that... Do you know what? Do you tell, tell them the banana thing? No, no. Oh, no, come on. No, no, no. So you do no, things, no, say no. things, say things, say things, say things. But I can, I can, I can, I remember I, I decided that because I was seeing like, I was imagining like um, Fergus would spit, you know? So I, I kept spitting and things like that. And I, I remember that day I was spitting on set and it's like interior in the studio. I mean, on, on, in our cabin, like, and someone came and it was like, Cesar, can you please not do this just because of, because of COVID protocols? <laughs> and I was like, I looked at him and I was so in Fergus. I was like, why do you say that to me? I mean, of course, <laughs> all right, I'm not going to spit anymore. But it's not me spitting, you know what I mean? It's, like, <laughs> it's the boy. <laughs> but like the camera AC is like, uh, if you wouldn't mind not spitting at me. That yeah. Yeah, that was um, that was a good one though. Like I remember just needing. There was a couple of times where like we're we're good friends, and so I needed you to like. We've been doing it all day as well, so like you have to sustain it. And I remember saying yeah. to you, "Can you just like shout? I, like, please, will you just shout at me and like give me a bit of abuse?" Before yeah. I, and so you would just shout, get me a but, drink, and abuse me a little it's, bit. It's it's funny because like we went so I mean 
I feel the choices of acting uh, we made this season were like kind of big, risky, things like that. I, I would I would leave set at night and be like, Ooh, what did what did we do? You know what I mean? I wasn't so sure. Um, I wasn't so fucking sure. You know what I mean? That like, yeah, it'd be like um, that'd be like yeah, people would receive it like so so well. So yeah, I kind of blacked out of like those days we shot these scenes. You know, kind of. I don't have like yeah, flashbacks. I think we, I think we yeah. But it's like, not as clear as like weirdly like things we shot like five years ago in yeah. South Africa because it was so intense that you have to yeah. put yourself in such a zone that is so not you that then after it's like a skill to be able to live it behind and yeah. Yeah, I found that was even like the birth. Like I was really nervous about giving a believable birth and yeah. not being a stereotype of like what it is for women to be like <laughs> doing it and how but also how it was like so balanced with us having to do something really intense to bring on the birth and do essentially a sex scene to do that and then afterwards it'd be quite light and then it falls back into being really yeah. dark and I remember doing it all and feeling again like it was all quite big and intense I was crying a lot I just remember crying all the time. Yeah, it was, it was draining. Yeah, and then um, afterwards, looking around to the women on set that had, had babies, and they were like, oh, uh, yup, no, no, that's, that's fucking what it's like. Yep. Yeah. And I, was, I remember, oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, there was like some sort of uh, sisterhood, yeah, of, of like women that knew what it was like. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, to yeah. do it. Um, okay, let's go on to the next one. Uh... Flavorazio. Oh, Flavorazio. Hey, man. You made it. Um, I don't know if I've got that right, but I'm going to just, we're going to go for it. Zero five. Okay. Are you best friends offset? Yeah. 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 I mean, I guess he says like when, I mean, yeah, on set and off set. I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like we're best mates. On, yeah, we are. On set, I'm just competing against you, baby. <laughs> but off set, we're Yeah, friends. it's all a problem. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Yeah, we are. It's, it's quite nice. It's it's so cute. The other day, someone um, twisted it around and was like, where are you guys best friends before the show? And I was like, yeah. that's so, that's so cute that you can imagine that there's a dimension where we yeah. knew each other randomly from before and oh got hired God. at the same time. And I'm like, I love the world you live in. You know? <laughs> like, it's How good if we could have done that and we could have like, can you got imagine? each other I mean, jobs. So no, it's even luckier than that. We didn't know each other. Because and... we didn't even screen test. Like, I don't know. We, yeah. say, we say that quite a lot, but we didn't even screen test, which is what's mad. Like they just were really lucky that we got on so well. And like, yeah. love each other. But yeah, love you, bro. <laughs> Love you, bro. Wait a second. Okay, Wait awesome a second. brill. I'm here. Yeah, I'm just. Okay, awesome brill. Uh, Which of you breaks character and laughs most while on set? What? <gasps> no. Mm. Oh my god! How old is she? Three months. Fuck off! Is it um? She makes only new it, voices. Is it daughter of Octaves? No, no, oh. no. Just she's, brand new. She's just yes, yeah, she's brand new. Oh my gosh, brand she's new so to this world. Yeah. Okay, um, who breaks character and laughs most while on set? Who who breaks character the most on set? Yeah, me, I think. Oh, between you and I. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like... We're not. We're quite good at not doing that. Yeah. No, I mean, same. The thing is, like, maybe. I feel like what we had to do before was kind of, we could do it being close to what we were. So it was, we were breaking like, but in the scenes, you know what I mean? Like literally yeah, yeah, yeah. there are takes where it's just us having fun and just enjoying what we have to do pretty much. You know what I mean? I don't feel like we were retaining that scene. I quite love when, when it's the drinking game and we're a, a little bit tipsy that night, you know, I think it's uh, Brianna and oh, Roger's yeah, wedding. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was and funny. That's, that's just fun. And, and, <laughs> during, huh? the we during the wedding and you doing Kaylee dancing at the wedding. <laughs> Lord of the Dead. <laughs> yeah. One of the funniest things I've oh ever God. watched you do. The we Gaelic rehearsed. We rehearsed. Learning the Gaelic dancing? Yeah. I mean, 
it's like you have to imagine, man. I say a season like this one, we we barely had. I mean, I barely had a scene, and then I'm in this like warehouse. I have to learn this this dance. I mean, it must sound amazing to you guys hearing me in the live. You must not even understand why I'm complaining, but it was just like, yeah, it was crazy. It was no, crazy. but it's also like that's the beauty of being an actor. You know, you're but fuck nowhere in Scotland in this warehouse learning this dance. It's maybe like midnight. <laughs> It's midnight right now. It's fucking winter. You have your best friend here hilariously, like, taking videos of you. And me, I remember me, like, doing, like, crazy things. But also, these dancers were amazing. Amazing. They, amazing. they stayed Similar all night long. Working. They kept the energy so high up there. Yeah. I remember. Do you not remember the extras? Like, knew, the essays knew the dance so perfectly. And we didn't at all. But every time we do it, they'd be like... Guys, guys, uh, it's double step. It's double step. But, We'd be like, oh, fuck, right, okay. But you see, credit to Outlander, this is exactly why the show is good. It's because this took, like, days of preps, like, like money, people, like, someone to hire these people, like, you know, choreographers and all, us rehearsing, and it's in the show for 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's money. Like, That's just it, money. It's yeah. money, but it's also, like, it's beautiful, you know, how you can, like, like yeah budgetize these things and in the end it looks amazing it looks so realistic it looks so good and it was like real the thing is we yeah, had Kaylee it was that's amazing what I'm we and, did and, a feel Kaylee people, people listening to this um, live right now this is exactly I think why the show is so neat you know it's like there's all these prep um, and um, yeah to all these things that they can control and then for the things they cannot exactly control let's say for example yeah. the way we perform it's up to us and it's up to us to come on set and, like, prepared enough. Shout out to Caroline Crawford. Caroline. Caroline, who is my dialect coach, who helps me with the Scottish tweak. Um, she came in and told you. me I sounded to Glasgow on my first day ever of Outlander. And I turned and I was like, well, that's because I'm from Glasgow. Mm. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what to do. And then she <laughs> tweaked everyone and made us all Highlanders. Oh. He's amazing. Did you, joke, did you joke that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, he's been wandering around the whole time. Hello. Oh, no. Hi. <laughs> yeah. She's bigger. She's so much bigger. Look at She's that. She's so much bigger. She looks great. Oh. Like, oh. Yeah. He loves her, but That's like, good. little She's baby speaking. gets like tired. You know, she can play only for like minutes, and then like she needs to rest a bit. She's a she's a long lady that just needs her rest. She's a pretty princess. Um. Okay. Next one. J. Christensen, 77. Uh, is it harder or easier to have these explosive anger scenes with each other since you've become good friends? Love you both. I think it's easier to me because it's not cringe. It's not ambiguous at all. Yeah, 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 definitely. I think what it what it's like, people ask me these questions. Someone said like, oh, it's so sad. You guys are not a couple in real life. I'm like, seriously, that would be so toxic. It's so complicated. Also, yeah, it's so, so toxic to play these things with your partner. I mean, your love partner in real life. I don't want to play these games. No. You know, it's the person I love. Uh, no. Or even put myself in these state of minds just for a, a, a joke or like a, a scene. Yeah, because or... you don't remember, like, I, I, got, I was getting really angry on that day because I, I was really struggling with the idea of, like, why Marcy would have stayed with you. Why Marcy would have stayed with Fergus. Yeah. I like, was getting so fucked off about the idea of it and I couldn't, like, move past it, which was helpful for her. It was helpful for the character. It was helpful for the moment. But it really made me resent you a lot of the day as Fergus. And I just don't think I'd ever want that with my real no. life. But also, that's the thing, you know, same for Fergus, you know, the way he deals with his struggle and things like that. I mean, we can't say, like, oh, go to, like, do your therapy and your own work, Fergus. You know, there's no, no such thing. Same, same for you. There's no such option of... Uh, as like I'm gonna leave him and start a new life, you know, like subscribe yeah. to new like magazines and things. Like oh my god, thank Change you, Stella. Hair Stella has just said we're the two best characters in Outlander from Sweden. Thank you, Stella. I thank you, Stella. It. You're Relevant. so cute. Thank you. Okay, next question. Yeah. Ma Matzik Mariel, how difficult was it for you to make the jump? Wait, how difficult was it to make the jump? Which we young sweet oh from <laughs> young sweet lovebirds in the previous seasons to two adult people in a relationship that is in the middle of a crisis. Where did you both get your muse? Uh, a life, what? A life, what? You know. 
Basically, you know how like we've always been like the cool, young, fun couple that don't fight. Yeah, I think I think it's well written though in the show. If you if you if you think about it, I mean, uh, who, what's her name? What's the name of the person we're talking to? Uh, I think it's pronounced Matzik. And Matzik, I think yeah, it was pretty much all there. At the end of season five, you have the abduction of Marcely and all this. I mean, their life changes at this point. Yeah. Uh, there is also a scene that sadly we don't see. I wish we saw in the in the, the TV show, which is like um, the fire at Ferguson. Still, you know, uh, that yeah. it's like their life. You know, is changing, and, and yeah, this. I think I think it was there. They were like putting like little like uh, clues here and there that it could it was fragile. Um, and yeah, I think, and I, quite... cool. like, I think we were kind of craving it as well. Like the cool oh, young yeah. fun couple that don't fight was yeah. great and so fun to do. And like we had great chemistry from when we met. Yeah. We became really good friends quickly, and so that Others was all really fighting, fun. Also but there comes was... a point where, like as actors, you really, really want to be challenged and yeah. feel like and go somewhere different with. Like we know these characters so well and so deeply that I think the writers. And so, they so, noticed so, that we wanted to do something more with it. And you know, I was, you know, was, so um, I was auditioned on that scene with Kat. Yeah, before. I remember. That's crazy, yeah. They wrote yeah. it. And like six years ago, they, they auditioned me on that one scene. The one you guys watched two days ago. And yeah. I, I was waiting for that scene like for, for, for years, literally, you know, because this is... Uh, even when I got hired, this is what I was uh, looking forward to do, you know, like, yeah, so that was yeah. nice. Yeah, it was cool, like, I I don't know, it's it's been, like, such a joy to get to do it when you know that, when you've, like, known these characters in every other sense, and then to get to do something totally different. And also for me, like, Marsley is not as big a character in the books at all, so it's, like, down to... The fans and your response to me has like ever like all of you watching like genuinely your response to my character has meant that she's been written in with way more, so that in itself is so cool. So thanks guys, that's really nice. Um, all right, I've got some more questions. Do you want to take some? These ones are just like separate ones. Should we take some from the list here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Should we do? A, should we do a bam bam? Like quick. Go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should we do bam, 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 bam. Let's play. Bam, let's be. Let's play. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh God, some of them aren't even questions. They're just really nice comments. Well, that's How so many nice. babies do you I have keep, on the I show? I need to tell it to every, all of y'all. I'm reading all the tweets, all the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's way too nice. It's way too rare, <laughs> and it's yeah, it's so amazing. So just so you know, guys, I'm reading all of your amazing comments. And thank you so so much. Cancel. Okay, great. What else? Okay. Uh, I'm going through. Are you going through? I'm what? Are you looking at anything? I know. I don't. Uh, on the comments? Can you see had, any? I, th I thought we had a list. Uh, we have more of a list here. Do you want me to go? Should I, should I consult more of the list? I'm going to consult more of the list. Wait. Okay. I, I, I also... Wait. I also, I'm also equipped of a laptop. Which okay, so, okay, I'm going to go, so Holder Petra is asking me, uh, season three is the only season we've not seen Marsley pregnant. Uh, is it sweaty to wear and bear fake stomach for three seasons? How much weight is the heaviest belly? Awesome question. Thank you. Um, I, <laughs> I love not being pregnant. Uh, I loved not being pregnant in season three. That was amazing. I had no idea what was coming for me. I didn't, I don't think I quite realized how many babies I was meant to be having. And so, yeah, every part of what I wear is fake. So, like, the boobs are fake, the bump is fake, the bum is fake. Like, none of it, like, I don't have my normal waist because you can't fit it all in and then corset it and then. So, all of it's fake. So, yeah, it's always like taking off. It's like, to be honest, it makes it like completely impossible to feel like myself, which is really cool. So, I end up just feeling like Marceline the minute I put on a costume. And that's awesome. And I love that. Um, Don't, you but... sounded like a Kardashian. The bum is fake. The boobs are fake. <laughs> the <laughs> bum is fake. Context. The, context the is bump fake. is fake. My ass is fake. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of love it though. Like, yeah. I like to, you get really attached. Like I stroke the belly. The boobs are amazing. 
The boobs are amazing. They're like so incredibly well made. So I that was really no, cool. No comments to make. <laughs> um, please don't make a comment. Yeah, just don't. I, don't I want said you that. To. No comments to make. To don't now it's ask me to make it. No, no. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's great to take it off at the end of the day, and I'm excited to not be pregnant in my next role, whatever that may be. And uh, maybe on Outlander she'll have a break because my like what a woman to have accomplished out that many babies and still look as hot as she looks. Who who the it? Okay, yeah. Kim Coral is asking you, Cesar. Fergus got tough love from Roger, Claire, and Jamie. Which was the hardest to film? Yeah, I read that one. I don't see it that way, though. I feel like they care so much that to me it's real, real love. It's, it's, I mean, tough love. Tough love's way better than fake love, you know what I mean? And they just care so much. Um, the toughest one was Cat, um, the scene with Cat. I mean, it was the same. It's not tough. It was the most challenging. And to me, it was the turning point. And I needed a, that scene because I only had one to like build up the fact that he would want to kill himself because he's just drunk and he looks sad and it seems a bit far-fetched that he wants to like end his life at some point so i needed that turning scene you know where we're like oh actually he's in the darkest place ever um the scene with the uh, roger is, is is was cool i mean all the scenes were great i mean i'm so grateful to be able to to act with these um actors they're just so generous so great all of them in their own ways uh same for sam he feels he feels the emotion so well of the scene that we can tune tune in and harmonize and it's just like it's such a pleasure um and they're all friends so yeah no nah, it's it was it was so great it was so great That's no cool. challenges no tough just just which is greatness. Yeah, they're really good people to work with. Cat, I've had loads yeah. of time to work with Cat, and she's so good. She's so yeah, considerate yeah. as an actor as well. She's a really generous actor. She and she's is. never, and ever, she... ever walked off. Like if her coverage is done, she's never left there. Like, oh yeah, no. The they, amount they... of times that she's like, when the camera's not been on her with me, that she really gives it everything yeah. with me. I've, like it's and that doesn't always happen like that really doesn't always happen like credit to her she really gives everything every time she I gives good her. advice too, too because she, she that day when we finished shooting i went like so all over the place that i was kind of i mean i was not confused but yeah i, I was like what did i do was it well constructed and things like that and and then we had this whole discussion about um letting go and being able to accept whatever happened on a day of shooting and just like not stay haunted by it you know for yeah. like hours or days and that when there's nothing much you can do about it that yeah it is what it is you know what i mean yeah and um and it was it sounds so um simple but it's just like it's actually very pure and she was, it was like oh it's those like simple things that you can forget to think about um, and she's a young actress too. I think I've been an actor. Yeah, for that's long. She's, she she's working. She's worked like way much more, and and she's this amazing, yeah, lead actress. So she, so she has all the tips and tricks, and it's like, yeah, yeah, love it's that. Like, as well, when she knows the show so well, that's like a pretty invaluable. And she always, I just remember, I actually do remember my first day ever working with everyone though, and having to call her a whore um, on my first day of working with her, which is quite hard, and it didn't set us off very well. But it made sense. Do you remember Twitter, Twitter's reaction to that? It was insane. Yeah. I remember Back people tweeting me being like, if you were my daughter, I'd slap you in the face. And yeah, I was like, I guys, let's not slap our daughters in the face. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. What else is there? We got more. Oh, how many times did I have to pour that drink over your head? Not that many, because we couldn't uh, do that. I think one. I think I did yeah. it more to this woman in my scene where I'm throwing. <gasps> oh my god, that's right. Yeah, and do yeah, you yeah. remember also? Uh, I punched this man. When <laughs> yeah, he actually says that you should you shouldn't tell people this. You actually punched him by accident, and he was like, "Oh," and everyone was like, <laughs> 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 "He took it well." 
took it, it took well. It well, but I mean, like, same. It's that thing, you know, when, like, it's not, it's not, I wasn't method acting, but trying to stay in the zone, but still, <laughs> when you start That's hurting people that you don't want to hurt. Um, yeah, I punched, I think I punched him I, I, one, one extra time. That wasn't planned and things like that. It looked real. I think it's to take the uh, the kit for the scene. Though. <laughs> you know? So did he come up to you afterwards and say it was it was all okay? I was so sorry, man. I was like so confused the next year after that. That was insane. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay. Um, when Fergus speaks French. Is it in the script or can says add some French when he wants? No, yeah, I read this one too. So it's rarely, uh, I mean, sometimes they write one word in French and then I know it's opening Pandora's box for me, you know, and that is a little sequence where I can play with words. But no, all the things I'm doing when the baby uh, um, uh, is born and things like that is just super organic things I would do in real life. And um, and yeah, so you don't dub your French accent or your French voice in the dub. No, oh, in the that's French insane, version. isn't it? I don't even know why. <laughs> and I've maybe I don't even asked. know why. I maybe I might have not inquired more. Than just... It is weird because, like, I as uh, one of like the only Scots still left on the shore, like me, Sam, Richard, John, really, and. I always get given so much of the Scottish slang because of it. So they know I can do that. And they yeah. know you can speak French. They should do it. They should give it to you. I remember um, season three, Keith Fleming, having to say Tate oh, de Malian. <laughs> having to do what? Tate de Malian. And, it was like, and I was like, what the fuck is that? It's like, it's a Scottish insult. Like, you wouldn't know. And I was like, a Tate de Malian? And it was like one After fucking... After Damalian. Yeah, it was one word. Know. It's a scene where we're on the beach uh, folding um, the thing, the, the big thingy, this. Kiki you know. is, for people, for all of you watching on this Instagram live, is um, Keith Fleming. He did the ode, like the uh, song. Leslie. Season four. Hey, Sharish. To the song. <laughs> Dude, we have lived a thousand lives with that thing. I completely hey, forgot the day sing I... Sing it with me. You know the words. Hey, Sharice. Uh, we used to sing a Gaelic song in season... Four? Or five? Yeah. Four. Four, 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 four. Four, four. 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 It was four. Um, and Kiki sang it, and we had to sing that song all day. Ish. But it was very beautiful. It was for his Leslie that died. Was. Like, hung. Highs. Yeah, he's highs, and Leslie died. Yeah. Yeah. And he he's not highs. He's 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 highs. Highs. Um, okay. What else? What's the most Scottish line? I I, I say, I've had we, to say. Uh, uh, should we do a five minutes warning? Yeah, 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 definitely. So let's say it's because otherwise we're gonna just turn this into a FaceTime and we'll start saying Yeah, it's insane, exactly which is already starting to happen. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, five minute warning, everyone. So people ask questions and we'll answer yeah. questions if you want to ask Where questions. do you film? All right, where do you film? S Scotland. We filmed in Scotland. Scot <laughs> what was? Well, poor Sam, exactly. <laughs> what? what are your best memories of Lancon? Oh, of a convention we did a couple it's... of weeks ago. Uh, just seeing everyone again. It was just nice to see all the fans. That the be, best like, like, memory the was all the... all the panels. They're so cool. We have so, so much fun. fun. And such yeah. good questions. Pounds are great. Meet and greets are great. You guys have the, have the best questions. I mean, I mean, seriously, I've said that to a couple of you, a couple yeah. of views in the uh, convention, but it's just not, not even my parents or my friends would ask me like relevant questions about Outlander. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. quite nice to they get into watch the, the thick of it, yeah. you know, and to talk about it with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you for people saying they're going to enjoy, they're looking forward to more She's a Wreck. She's a Wreck is coming soon. I've, I'm like releasing it soon. The second no. my podcast for anyone that hasn't listened listen it's coming more soon um when you start what's the what's the best skill you learn on the show mine would be uh learning to the real like, thing butcher like kill things and butcher like cut cut shit up and butcher stuff and then kill men 
kill big bad men. Me's English. <laughs> so it's like kind of true. No, your English was good when you first started. You're just yeah, Jewish. but it's way better. It's it's like it's like your English now. You just like yeah. kind of American now. No, it's great. Um, you two are our favorite characters. Thank you. Thank we you so you. much. We love that. That's tell them. So tell them. Tell tell everyone. Tell, them. tell the world. Oh, she's a wreck means um like she's a recommendation, but it's a play on being a wreck. So I'm being a <laughs> <laughs> um what else? Where what else? Very helpful skills zone, thank you. Yeah. What else are people asking? What is your favorite personality traits of your character? So I guess uh I don't know. It's just so. It's he's so resilient. That's what I love about him. He's overcome so much and is still like great and and he's just like he tries to to keep that French flair of his of like being that like that savoir vivre dude and it's just nice um, until he gets like a bit too much into that with the drinking. But yeah, yeah. he's very resilient and qu quite quite like French. Yeah, I think Marsley, my favourite thing is that she's really, um, I never used to think it, but I think she's really romantic and really brave. I think she's yeah. always been brave. I think she's super romantic and I love that That's about her. That's true. She's just like fully gone after love. Um, so fertile too. <laughs> so fertile. That's not a personality trait. <laughs> <laughs> For Fergus, in the 18th century, it is. <laughs> woman, can she, woman can have babies. Done. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good, good. Um, what else? Someone asked a good question about why weren't we in any promo photos? Um, I'm going to say the, the, the PC answer is we both have moved on to other projects, big projects, so we had to go do those. Maybe? Yeah, I mean, you say what you have to say. You only... Yeah. Okay, uh, next question. Um, who would you say is your character? Oh, is Fergus, do we think Fergus is a time traveler? I think he isn't, but like it's funny because I, I saw these questions that, that are like so interesting as to like if Fergus and Marceline know that the others are time travelers, and no, they don't. And that's what's so great about them is that these two are really the ones that are like the the postcard of the past. You know, I wish yeah. they could time travel, but they they don't. And that's the same with that that struggle you had, where like why would fucking Marceline stay? Well, she would stay when Brianna and like Kat maybe wouldn't. When when Claire, sorry, but Claire stayed. I mean, Claire got along with the worst <laughs> Fergus over the seasons to stay with Jamie. But yeah, they haven't time traveled. I mean, I don't, I don't think they ever do. Or I don't even know if there's a scene in the future or in the books <laughs> where they get to know it or I witness don't know. it. I don't know. We did talk about that. We I don't like, think so. We would, have, we would have heard of it. We would have heard of it. Yeah. The, like, the fans would have told us, I think, because we get told stuff. Yeah. You guys tell us stuff all the time, which is so great and helpful. Yeah, it's so nice. I it's told so you someone. Nice. So people told me who my dad is. Yeah. Ooh, people of the life. Ooh. My dad <laughs> is a character. It's not Jamie Fraser. Oh, my. No. My, God. And it's a character we know that has been before in prior seasons. Da, da, da. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. last couple let's do like last two questions. Um Can you look too? I can't find any. I mean it's blocked. It's like my thing. It's oh you my... can't see? Okay, 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 no. okay. Um so What weird. was your favorite moment of season six? That's a good one to end on. Let's do that. The pr the, the premiere. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Uh, it was fun. Um, no, I mean it was freezing. Um, the <laughs> the, the... It actually was. <laughs> People are gonna say it it things every, everywhere is freezing. You know what I mean? And that is true. I'm someone that gets cold. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not saying any lies over there. You no complaining um, at home about the content of this live. No, favorite moment was like when I read the scripts, I think. Me too. Seriously. Same. Like yeah, when we, when we first so knew for a fact come. we were getting into it. In the mud. Yeah. 
Yeah, was... knowing we had so much to come and I had so much to come and it was so different to what Marcy had been and such a development for these guys' characters. Um, I was so excited. It it's, really cool. it's also a part of like the projection I had of, of these scenes and how close they were in their execution. And that was just such a nice feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the like, thing that can get that. like, that can throw you, uh, 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 you know, off as an actor is when you project a scene so precisely and you're sure you read it so correctly. And yes. when you arrive on set and you're like, oh no, you're sitting down, that person is standing up and you're going to shout your lines. And it, it's absolutely not what... And all these scenes were exactly what I pictured. Even the ones we did together. It was exactly when we were reading yeah. them, which was easy. That's the, also the, the, the fun part of working with someone you've worked for so long that you get along uh, with so well, but not only that, you know professionally so well as that. Yeah, I have um, knowledge of what you would do today. It's so good that I, I can I can hear you when I read the, the yeah, lines yeah, yeah. before totally. I see you act, you know? So, yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I, I feel the same. And also when it came to the episodes, nothing got cut. So they didn't yeah. butcher down yeah. any scenes. They didn't remove anything no. that had happened. They All were it. played as they read and as we did them, True. which was really cool because that, that isn't always the case. Not necessarily in Outlander, just generally on TV and film. That isn't always what happens. No. So it was a really cool thing to know I'm that we've done us. justice. I'm very proud of us. Yeah, I'm proud of us too. Hey, yes. love you. I'm proud of us. I think hey, we've done okay. You, I think we've done good. Bestie. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I'll everyone. Never it's been such a pleasure. Mwah. Thank you for all the praise, all the love. All this yeah. overwhelming attention you guys are giving us. And yeah, one more time, I'm reading all your comments, all your messages. Yeah, I'm liking all of them. Even the ones I'm not liking, I read them somehow, somewhere. It's so such a roller coaster of emotion what you guys are giving us right now. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, guys. We Lauren, love you. thank you. Dinner Bye, Lauren. Dinner Bye. 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 <laughs>